this video you've got three resistance band exercises for the lower back to try out. Resistance bands or therabands are really good just to increase the challenge of an exercise. Your back may be weak for a variety of reasons and if it is then you'll be wanting to know a few exercises that will target that area just so that you can improve the strength. Knowing some specific exercises for the low back is good and means that you can add it to your routine. We'll make a suggestion on the number of repetitions. We'll be using a blue band for this which is extra firm and it is 1.5 meters long. At the end of the video I'll go through um, things to consider if the band strength or the number of repetitions aren't quite right for you. My name's Claire, I'm a physiotherapist from PhysioFit Health. Subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, so you can keep updated on the videos that we publish. For this exercise for the lower back with the band, you're going to stand roughly in the middle of your band so that you anchor it and you're going to hold on to either end. Now you do want to hold it so that there's a fair bit of tension on the band so it really feels like it's pulling your arms down. Uh, so you just need to um, just make sure you're holding the band fairly close uh, to your feet and then stand up and that should put the tension um, into the band. Now you're starting with your um, body nice and upright. You've got a little bit of string pulling yourself up and this one very slowly you're going to lean all the way over to your uh, right side. So it's going to take the tension off the band on that right side. It's going to increase it on the left. And then really think about these muscles around the low back and hip and pelvis area as you raise yourself all the way up. Now I'd suggest working that same side for your six repetitions before going over to the other side. Uh, you are doing three lots of six on each side with this one. So it's fairly straightforward. You just need to make sure you've got that tension on the band just so that something um, to work with just to increase the uh, work of the muscles. For this exercise I've tied a knot um, at the end of the band and I've squashed it. Um, so I've trapped the band um, with the door and I've anchored it fairly high so it's got the resistance that I need on it. I'm gonna start with my back facing the door um, and my arms are going to come up straight holding the band. That is my start position. So think about shoulders, shoulders down, but you're up nice and tall. You've got maybe a little bit of string pulling yourself a, a little bit taller. Keep hold of the band and you're thinking about hinging at the hip joint. You're going to do a waiter's bow. You're going to bring your upper body forwards, hinging at the hips. Now the tension is going to increase on the band. And then you're slowly, slowly, slowly going to raise yourself all the way back up to your start position. So it's the forward lean hinging at the hips and then standing yourself all the way upright. Now, first couple of rep repetitions um, have the slack in the band just to see how it feels. But you can obviously increase the tension on the band just to increase the work of your muscles. You're aiming for your three lots of six repetitions. Um, and yeah, see how it goes. Uh, for this exercise, you're going to take your band and you're going to tie, um, tie it in a loop at one end. So it's double knotted. And then that end's going to go um, over your right foot. You're going to get yourself into your four point knee position. So the band comes in between um, the knees and you're going to hold it with your left hand. So you're going to uh, fix it with that left hand. Um, your hips are over your knees, shoulders are over your hands. I would get you to um, arch the back all the way up and then arch it in the opposite direction. And then you're finding that halfway point in between those two so you know that you've got your back in a good position. Uh, with this one, you are going to slowly straighten your right leg against the tension on the band at the same time as you're straightening your left arm. So you're going to raise the leg and the arm up, um, aiming to get them parallel with the floor if possible. And then you are slowly going to return back to your start position and then starting again. You are aiming for three lots of six exercises, um, six repetitions. Uh, and then you are going to repeat on the other side. So nice and straightforward. You've now got three resistance band strength exercises for the lower back to try out. If the number of repetitions we've suggested uh, is a bit too easy for you, 
then I'd suggest increasing the strength of the band rather than changing the repetitions. When you're focusing on strength, uh, you want fairly heavy uh, weight or resistance and you don't need that many repetitions. You'll find links um, in the description below uh, to videos we've created on how to choose the right resistance band and how many repetitions for strength exercises if you want to investigate this further. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you soon. Thank you.